You know, I think today we're gonna go back to Australia. Except it won't be so we can get a lightsaber to cut down all these balloons. We're going to make the ultimate Australian with this bionic boomerang upgrade path. And we start that journey by getting the first upgrade, which is a normal boomerang. Very simple in its design, but extremely effective. Especially when the targets are bunched up together like this. So even more likely to get hit. And I could get another upgrade right now already. But I want to get a little more money. So I can get a few upgrades back to back. This might prove difficult since these are only popping one layer at a time. But if we get more of these and the improved rings, soon we'll have the bionic boomerangs. And from there, we should be able to have much better of a time destroying all the balloons. Especially when we get all of these support units because... As it turns out, they are very necessary. And the bionic upgrade is almost 2,000 money, so we have a little bit of ways to go. I'll probably buy the banana tree before then, just so we can get a little extra income. For now though, I'll just destroy a line of blue balloons to make them red, and then some more reds, and then make those reds disappear, and then group all these balloons in a circle while taking care of some of the stragglers. And I actually could really just destroy these by looking behind me and then throwing all these boomerangs. And it, well, I thought it'd be working. Hello there. Nope. I guess they're flying overhead. So let's aim directly at the horizon where it should be flat. Uh, do I need to walk forward? So they go past me? This is working earlier. Maybe I need to be right next to the balloons. Uh, nope, they just disappear. All right, never mind that. We'll just do this the old fashioned way. We'll save the boomerang trick shots for dude perfect. Or maybe the throwing behind me will work on these faster balloons like the yellow ones. Let's see, run in a straight line and then start throwing. Hey, it is working. Aha, I knew it. See, I can do some trick shots too. Okay, I want to see if I can get this number. I just need three pops and one and got to pick a balloon that's by itself. Two, three. Hey, my money is leet. And if you remember those days of like lead hacks or and spelling it with like numbers and everything because that made you cool and techy. I'm not saying that I ever did that. <laughs> no. <laughs> You did. But now I have enough for the tree, so I'll plant it. So the first batch of bananas is very promising, except we can't even buy the upgrade already. Although we probably can before this round is done. Yep, like so. And bam, just in time for the pink balloons to almost get us, but they can't keep up. And even so, we can just throw these behind us like so. Lots of so-and-sos happening, but then we face them directly and just throw the boomerangs right at them like so. And now we get the upgraded harvest. I'm sure how you know this goes by now. We collect all these and then we upgrade this. So now we can't even buy that for a while. So now we just chop through enough of these heart-shaped balloons until we get enough to buy the bionic boomerang, which I'm not really sure how it's bionic. It just looks like it's in a uh, you know, a glove that you put on. But what do I know? I'm not Australian. According to some people on the internet, I'm British. Which I don't understand how they came to that conclusion. So now by the next round, we should be able to get the upgrade. As soon as I scoop up these bananas and walk over to my lovely friend here. Here we go. Bionic boomerang. And it, whoa, my arm is skinnier than I thought it would be. So it, whoa, oh yeah, that is rapid fire. Just bow, 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 bow. It still is only popping one layer at a time, but it's handling these black balloons really well because it's popping the doubles that come out as well. Interesting. I am a super Australian. Oh wow, that actually just choose a line through them. And because the boomerangs are flying back to me, well, if they don't get stopped, it's kind of like a scissor effect that's happening. So I think this will work very well. Like even those doubles really don't have a lot to say in the matter. Just chewing through more of them like this. So then the next upgrade is 4,800. Oh my goodness. So this is what it's like to be an Australian superhero. Just boomerangs everywhere. Oh yeah. Oh, and I didn't even notice the camo balloons were in play yet. Thankfully, they're not too big of a trouble. Oh, and I could upgrade the banana thing. Or I get the camo upgrade. Uh, it's gonna be well before the next ones. I'm gonna buy the bananas. Oh, there's some heart balloons and some purple ones. Thankfully, the boomerang just goes through all of them. It's pretty good that way. So I'm just gonna get that camo out of the way. Even though I don't think there's any more in this wave. But I might as well just forget it and then forget I have it. Because it doesn't matter anymore. Hello, zebra balloons. You go bye-bye. I might need to start looking at getting a support unit soon. There's a lot of them coming in still. I can handle them. I just want to worry about them less. So uh, Australia is about to get some air support. And the air support is very handy indeed. I like it very much. Here come the steel balloons. So how many boomerangs does this take? Uh, A few. But it's all very quick. So it all works out anyway. But thanks to the plane, 
and then the supply of boomerangs, it goes very fast. Now I just have to worry about my plane releasing these fast pink balloons right in front of me. Thankfully, I'm able to stay on top of it. And now, with all of this, we should be able to get the next upgrade, the turbo charge. Gives us another little line on the back of the hand there. Ooh, these are particularly fast boomerangs. Wow. Oh, I'm liking this. Just fend them all off. And oh yeah, that works so good. Just gotta keep moving and shooting, moving and shooting, moving and scooting and shooting. Do the boomerangs come back if they go through the ground? Eh. And I uh, know they don't. And I totally forgot to pick up a banana over here. Whoops. Come here, you. And you go away. And then we get all of you taken care of. Very good. Ah, here's more of the camos. I do kind of wonder what it would be like to go through this without buying the camo detection. It probably suck when you get to the Moabs that are camouflaged, but before that, might not be too bad. And I like how I can just spray boomerangs in any direction, and no matter what, they're always gonna hit something. Especially just walking behind me like this in a line. And yep, that's working. So I think now I can get a little more support, such as a hero and attack shooter. And you guys keep saying I don't use attack shooter ability by pressing Q. You wanna know what it does? Q. It puts down the turret. That's what it does. I'm not missing anything, don't worry. Ah, and here are the rainbow balloons. Let's just chew through those very quickly. This creates a lot of balloons, which I'm not a fan of, but that's also why I have all the support that I have. Speaking of, let's come back over here. And now we have camo heart balloons. Thankfully, they're no match for boomerangs. Like, I really wonder how it is that someone just came up with the idea of a boomerang. Was he just like, ah, I can't use a stick, it's broken. And then he threw it away and then it came back, hit him in the head, and he's like, that's it. That's genius. And then he took it out back and then threw it at a goat and then it knocked it out. And he's like, oh, this is the best thing ever. But for me, it's just a long while until we get any more worthwhile upgrades, such as a super banana tree or the last upgrade for this. In the meantime, we just have to fight all these rainbow balloons and the heart-shaped balloons. Speaking of, I could probably get the regrow blocker without too much consequence. And now we get to round 40. So let's see how Moab handles our new found boomerang abilities. And that took a little longer than I like, which is why I have the support that I do. Maybe I should just pop all these balloons that contain more balloons so I can just make a target rich environment like this. Because who doesn't miss the sound of constant popping right directly in your ears along with some ceramic. These have been in here before but I forgot to mention it. And I always get way too far away from this tax shooter for it to be effective. And I guess this tax shooter is also responsible for just making a lot of extra balloons that I have to deal with. But you know, I'm able to keep safe and just get rid of all those. So that after collecting this bunch of bananas, oh, you're kidding. I'm still a few shy of upgrading that. Fine, then I'll just work through all these balloons and then go around the island like this so that by the time I get back past these seal reinforced balloons, I'll have enough to upgrade the tree before the round is done so I can get the big money. And I'm gonna need a lot of big money to get the last upgrade. Thankfully, these reinforced ceramic balloons should have that for me. There's a lot more ceramic balloons this time. There's a few camo ones sprinkled in there too. Not sure where they're coming from, but it's all gonna be okay. So the attack shooter right now is surrounded and I'm not sure it's actually doing anything. Okay, it looks like it is. It's just not frequent enough and I paused too long. Took a little bit of damage, but it's okay. Just gotta keep pouring on the popping. So now we get to round 50 and we're about halfway to the ultimate upgrade. And here come more Moabs, lovely. Thankfully, all those Moabs are getting me very close to the magic number I need. But I also think this texture could use some faster shooting and my hero could use a machine gun just so I can have a constant spray happening. Kind of like I'm doing. And these camo ceramic balloons are so weird. They look like mud. I can't tell for sure, but it seems like when they get popped by the boomerangs, they pause a little bit, which I'd be able to keep up with if there wasn't so many of them. And the tank doesn't know where to look. He's just <laughs> darting back and forth. He's like, ah, ah, they're everywhere. But just a constant increase of the money like this. Some more Moab to go. And then all of these get destroyed. Almost there. And then with the power of these super bananas. I think we have it. And permacharge. Hiya. Ooh, big shiny green. I like it. So uh, how's this different? Let's just start the wave and then... Whoa! Oh, oh wow. Okay, these are souped up boomerangs. Oh, I like this. Hey, Moabs, how about some of this? Oh, this is so much better. I like it. It's tearing through like four layers of balloon at a time. That is the best. Don't have to worry about one layer at a time anymore. My goodness. This is what I like to see. This right here is what Australia needs to fight all those spiders that are bigger than children. So now that I have all the upgrades for me, I need to get all the upgrades for my friends, like the plane. 
and again. And the hero can get one too. And the tax shearer can get a little bit as well. Very nice. Things are looking a lot better now. It is just such a turnaround from being able to only pop like one layer at a time to going through a Moab in like, what, three seconds? Pretty close to that. And whoa, that boomerang just went off into nowhere. So now we just gotta see how these new super powered boomerangs handle against the new big bad Moabs while also making sure I stay safe. All right, big red one, what you got? Come out here and have some boomerangs in your life. If I angle this right, I think you can hit him twice. Oh yeah, definitely. That just, that's what makes it go through so fast. Yeah, it wasn't much of a problem at all. And we now have enough to make the plane a specter for even more just constant barragement. Some reinforced Moabs are here. They're a little bit more of a problem, I gotta say. It's not too bad though. And now the hero gets Moab Barrage, which is gonna help me a lot. But now Moabs means I can use the barrage I spent so much money on unlocking. And just like that, the hum of the Moabs goes silent. And we got double red Moabs and I'm running around the island right now. Not the best combination, because they spawn that way. But I'm around both of them, so I get to launch the barrage without a problem. So, and I think I can get the last upgrades for the attack shooter. Yes, indeed. Which will help me handle all these Moabs a lot easier. And then I'll get the large caliber ammo for the tank. And now that we're done with a nice round, nice. let's get to round 70, which really could hold any number of surprises, being one of the, you know, tens rounds. Just gotta make sure I give myself plenty of room to move back and forth like I do. And we are pretty good at going for the most part. Very nice. And now that we have a nice amount of money, we can get the last upgrade for our tank friend. So now we're all ready to face the dangers ahead of us. Or behind us, because that's where the balloons like to come from. And I don't think I've ever heard the Moabs be so loud as before now. But then they all go silent. And round 75 is over. And now we get to round 80, so let's see how this guy holds up against the endless stream of boomerangs. And, uh, yeah. And then all these other Moabs quickly fall to dust. Very good. And, uh, this is getting a little crowded. Yikes. No! Okay. I didn't have the barrage again. Well, boomerangs are cool and all, but, uh, they can't do everything. Sub to intern. I'd also like to thank the channel members, including Bread, Corby Farm, Dakota C, Calvin K, Mr. Cripple One, Master Roshi, Ancient Elixir One, Destructo Man, Bladed Archer, Cowboy, Donamoto, Deviant X, Muffin Suffer, Lucas S, LEB, and Splatter Sacks.